So that's your new baby, right? Yes. Butter. That's right. So guys, you guys know what this is right here? So this right here is actually, you know, in the in the reptile world, we call these things powerhouses. You know why? Oh my gosh, and they're so cool. What's up YouTube? How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a great day. Man, do we have a vlog for you guys, man. Seriously, we're gonna do a freaking pet room tour. Should I call it pet room tour? I mean, she has reptiles and pets. She did get a really cool cat. Um, but at Summer Ray's house, I mean, how insane is that, dude? No one's ever done that before, dude. And if you guys don't know who Summer Ray is, she's probably one of the lead, maybe like top uh, influencer models out there on Instagram. I mean, the girl has like 25 million followers, dude. That's so freaking big. And not only that, but she is such an animal lover and such a sweet, sweet girl. I mean, Tina even said, Tina, isn't she one of your favorites? She is absolutely one yeah. of my favorites. Yeah, like guys, she is so freaking awesome, man. And um, yeah, so we're gonna do a full reptile room tour because we're gonna take her the frogs that she got from A Tree Frog Collective, you know? She, I'm telling you, she has already, she's already gotten like five of our snakes already. I mean, the girl's like stacking up a good amount of reptiles. It's so freaking crazy. I mean, the stuff we're gonna talk about over there, cause she's gonna get some Amazon tree boas and all that crazy stuff. And not only is it good for the hobby and for the business, but the whole industry to have someone with such a big following, you know, have a love for reptiles and animals in general, because I mean, with her, you know, with her following, it's only gonna be good for all of us, man. That's why, you know, I think it's so good for us to get our, our names out there, our animals out there, so the, for the whole world to see. Even though I got a lot of flack over, you know, me selling some snakes to Jake Paul, which you have to understand, man, these guys have a lot of assistance. And, you know, trust me, they take care of these reptiles and the animals like you guys, you guys wouldn't believe. So before we get to summer, I need a huge, huge favor from you guys. Um, I need you guys to go and follow NARBC's Instagram and go give them a follow on their Instagram and on their Facebook. NARBC is ran by Brian Potter and Bob. And guys, without them, we wouldn't be able to have all these crazy shows where we could sell our animals, where we could network, where we could sell our products. I mean, they're just as important as the USR. USR's handles are gonna be on the description down below, but guys, do me a big favor. Please go check out NARBC. Go give them a follow, especially on their Instagram, because um, they're gonna be doing a crazy giveaway that him and I are gonna actually link up together and do. So, you know, for some of these shows, we're talking about some VIP passes, some crazy, crazy stuff. Make sure you guys go check them out. Well, that's enough yapping. Let's get started with this awesome vlog. All right, guys, so we are here, man. Dude, look at, dude, summer, summer's freaking balling out, right? Um, so Summer actually moved into the old uh, FaZe house, the guys that, you know, the where all the FaZe guys used to stay at, because a lot of the FaZe guys ended up moving out, but she's over here staying at this beautiful, I mean, dude, this used to be Justin Bieber's old house. But yeah, let's go check out all the stuff she has, man. Starting with her Jeep. So freaking sick. That's where Jarvis used to live at. Yeah, this house is so freaking humongous, man. So freaking beautiful. This right here will be the main house back there. So freaking beautiful. And then this is her house. And over there is where the uh, lake's at. Where I've gone fishing with Ace before. So freaking cool. All right, let's get started. Hello, Hi. Summer. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. So, before we start, that's yeah. So that's your new baby, right? Yeah, his name's Jupiter. And what kind of kitten is he? He's a little Bengal. I love cheetahs and like leopards and stuff, so like he's my dream. So before we, uh, you know, obviously show you off, you know, give you your awesome new little frogs. Mm -hmm. Could you show us all of your uh, pets? Okay. Well, I have my dogs, but they're not really that exciting. Dude, I want to see them. Let's start off with them. They're really cool. Okay. I love them. See, honestly, like this one went out to tie my shoes most of the time. So this, I'm glad I brought sandals today. That's little Rob Rob. And they have the coolest Ooh. names. So that's Bugatti. That's Maserati. So that's Maserati right there. And then this is Bugatti right here. And then that's Ferrari. See, they Ferrari. Fight, so like I have to take them out on come different here. times. Ferrari, come, come, here. Here. come here. Oh my gosh. And his tongue sticks out because he has no teeth in it. <laughs> yeah. He has no teeth. So. He's so cool, <laughs> man. Love this thing. All right. Let's get to the cool stuff. I mean, I wish that was mine, but... Well, actually, I mean, we are in the works of, you know, talking about something, which, you know, we could talk about it right now. We'll go up there. Yeah, we'll have a little retake, look. Look at that right there, look at that. Big sneaky, sneaky. Sorry, I just moved in, so it's a little messy up here. Yeah, I was just telling them. So, look at this, guys. So, how much people you guys know that actually have a rack system? I mean, she legit has a full rack system. This is my tarantula. She's, um... Literally, I've had her. These are literally stickers I put on the cage when I was like 
but like, I got her in like second grade, so I was like, how old are you in second grade? I don't know. You had that one when you were in second grade? Yeah, I got her in second grade. Holy hell. So these are little stickers that I put on it when I was a little kid, and I like wrote Ruby on it. But yeah, so I got her when she was like five, like the, peop the people said she was like five. So I don't know, she's she's an old lady. I didn't even know tarantulas, you know, freaking live that yeah, long. Yeah, like they say like 25 years, like her um her kind of like tarantula. That is so cool. And these crazy. are my first little babies that my go gave oh, that's me. That's right. So guys, you guys know what this is right here? If you guys don't, right here we have a leopard pied. Look at that. How freaking cool is that? That's so sick. And then the, now do these have names? Um this is obsidian and this is citron. So this one's citron, and that one's obsidian. Mm -hmm. Now that comes from. I remember you were explaining to me. It was like the jewels or some rocks or um, something. Yeah, like I name them all after like gems and like stones and stuff. And these were all produced at AEP, guys. All right. So what's the next one we have right here, dude? This is Kanara. He he, my little freckle baby. So this right here is actually, you know, in the in the reptile world, we call these things powerhouses. And you know why? Why? Because of the combos that it has. So. This right here, dude, um, is a pastel spot nose yellow belly clown, 100% 100, 100 head pied. Now the goal is to hopefully get a summer to start breeding these things. <laughs> Think about it, if you start breeding these things, how crazy the cell the, the cells would go up just on snakes alone. I know, I'm like, I'm the next snake breeder. Oh my God, you better watch out. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> um, then this is my Let's save that one for last. Let's save that one for last. Oh, for last? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Well, then I just have my little my little shitty hot nose, just kidding. He's an asshole. <laughs> this yes. little baby just wants to bite me all the time. I do love him though. I have to like dodge his, his little bites. So could you uh, tell us the story about what happened uh, with this little guy? Oh, well, sometimes I like to like hold them and I was showing someone all of them. So I had them all out and I looked down and he's biting Kanara, my little <laughs> freckle baby. Yeah. He literally is attached to her. I'm like, oh my God, but he's just an asshole. Like he just likes to bite people, yeah. but his name is Onyx. Yeah, he's really, really cool. Now let's save uh, the last one. One of my favorite, you know, pet snakes. And that's you saw it at my house, and then you're like, "Oh my gosh, I want one." Oh yeah, I saw the adult one. So this is Tourmaline. Oh my gosh, it's getting dark. Yeah, he's. Getting Holy darker. guys, you have no idea. Like when I first got her, this it was honestly like light gray. Yeah. Wow. A little baby. That is so hey, freaking cool. Doing? Let me see that. Wow. Dude. Yeah, I'm excited for him to be big. I would say it's like 50% now, like, you know, grayish and then like black. That is so freaking awesome. He's really fun. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's so probably like one of my favorite ones because it's like he's fun to hold because he like actually he, like... He moves. <laughs> yeah, he moves. You, well, you know what they say, you know, the ball the pythons are rocks. basically, you know, pet rocks. That's what my sister, like my sister's always had snakes and like when I told her I was giving my ball python, she's like, that's so lame. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right, so before we go up there and give you your new reptiles, what were we talking about this right here that you have plans of, which I think is freaking awesome, man. Yeah, I mean, I want to get a retic and get her little setup right here, so. Okay. Now, could you guys think about here with her logo in the back right there, a nice retic. I mean, how much animals are you planning to have? I mean, I have all the animals. I love animals, so this is like my own little personal zoo, so. Dude, I cannot, once you get everything <laughs> set up, once you get, you know, because we're talking in the works of getting an Amazon tree boa, uh, you know, maybe a dwarf, oh, super a dwarf free tick, chameleon. Dude, could we do a full reptile room tour afterwards too? Mm -hmm. Sweet. All right, let's go uh, grab your new little guys. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for these little babies. All right, Summer, are you ready? Real quick, before uh, before we start that though, could you explain this awesome? I can't get over this. I think this is so freaking cool, <laughs> man. I mean... It's like my favorite saying. I've always had this in my bio, like the whole time I've had Instagram. It's like, dreams don't work unless you do it. It's my favorite saying. And then this is Ruby, my tarantula I've had my whole life. And that's Boogie, and that's Mazzy, and that's Rory. And then I have my little snakes, and then I have a little snake on my, my arm, too. Look at that, man. That is so freaking awesome, yeah, man. It's really fun. Dude, man, and I'm the one, I mean, dude, the coolest part is that I'm the one that give you a snake. So, I mean, you know, it just makes my stock go up way higher. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So, okay, so right here we have your little setup, you know, uh -huh. right here. And so cute. I know that you love to have most of your reptiles. You like to have them together. You just like them, you know. And the cool thing about these frogs is that they don't like to be by themselves. Shh. It's all right. My cat's just screaming. <laughs> so they don't like to be by themselves. So, so these come from a good friend of mine, Spencer, from A Tree Frog Ooh. Collective. <gasps> can I take it out? Oh yeah, you can hold him. Is he a little lover? <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I just. Oh my God. Don't <laughs> <laughs> so real quick, don't feel bad. I honestly just unboxed some moss, mossy frogs, 
and dude mine was just as bad so yeah I got so. Him now. <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm laughing just because this literally just happened to <laughs> well, me he landed on the pillow <laughs> yeah he's all good he's fine all right, let's see if we can get a really close-up look for him. Look, this is the whole back. Let's see. Look at this guy. He's a little hopper. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. And they're so cool. I'll tell you right now, though. If you think your cat's making a lot of noise, just wait at nighttime. What do they do? Dude, like, brah, brah. Like, I'm not Oh, lying. my gosh. Am I going to be able to sleep? <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, yes. I think you will. <laughs> I'm like, we got to come get these fucking right. shit. They're so cool the way they feel. Here, here's they're, the... They, their little suction feet. Right? Look at this one, one though, man. They're so cool. This one right here is honestly the coolest one. Hey, mister. He's like, oh. There you go. <gasps> that one's freaking wow. sick. Yeah. See, I got a little better that. holding them. That one's so awesome. Mm. They almost look fake. You know what I always tell people they feel like? Um, they feel like, uh, you remember those little sticky hands? They yeah, like, go and, like, you, grab you paper like with? literally like yes. go and like That's throw it on the wall. That's exactly how they That's feel. That's how they feel like they're, when they're climbing on you, their little like feet feel like that. They're yeah. sticky. How are they so sticky? They're so awesome, man. Oh, hi. <laughs> so I'm freaking cool. You. All right, guys, so we're gonna leave it at that and then we're gonna get all this fixed up real quick. And then, um, yeah. So Summer, thank you very much, seriously, man. So awesome of you. Thank, thank you for becoming the, the new that. reptile queen. Look yeah. at Rari, he's like, um, <laughs> Yay! Rari. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> all right, guys, so we're actually not done yet. You know, Summer just actually got a retick literally just right now. How crazy is that? But we missed one, um, oh, one yeah. of the animals. Um, yeah, my beta baby was um, feeling left out. Her name's Penelope. Does it, does it turn? Uh, Peony. Peony? Oh, it's right there. Uh, you know, like the Peony, like when you like the flower? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's a little baby. I wish I could hold her. I was, I was just going to say, do you ever take her out and hold her? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you guys imagine, I'm just like, hey, you guys, you're my fish. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that. That's so freaking awesome. All right, so we'll let you do your thing and thank you again Seriously, thank you're you. awesome. You're the best. Love you. Man, what a day. This LA traffic. I'm seriously so freaking over it But uh, I had to go do another collab with actually some of the kids from the Hype House, which is like some of the big TikTokers. It's so cool man, I'm telling you these guys have like all these influencers have, you know, like, just gotten their names up. They're so freaking big. I don't know if you guys are big uh, boxing fans, but one of the kids that I knew there, uh, his name is Taylor Holder. We were actually talking, and he actually trained with Canelo Alvarez, which is one of my favorite boxers. And uh, we were talking, uh, you know, about, I was like, dude, I would like to meet. He's like, dude, he's like, come on over on this day. He's going to be here. So it's actually really cool, man. So, so I want to tell you guys, as always, man, thank you, man. I really appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been giving us. Until next time, peace.